Stewart. Today I'd like to talk about decision making and of course decisiveness. When you think about that's all really trading is, it's making decisions. We gather information, we analyze or assess that information and then make decisions based on our analysis of that information. So, you know, when we really think about it, trading really boils down to decision making. We don't have to remember complicated formulas. There's nothing physically demanding about trading. It just comes back down to making decisions. Clearly, decisiveness is such a vital ingredient of successful traders. But one thing about decisiveness, you can very much link it in with confidence. I think it's very difficult to be decisive unless you are confident. I think they're very much hand in hand. When you're not confident in yourself and your own ability, you are less likely to be decisive when a decision needs to be made because you're not really sure of what you're doing or what you need, uh, what you need to do. The interesting thing about trading and decision making and why it can be so difficult sometimes is uh, more often than not, the decisions we need to make are counterintuitive. They go against our natural instincts. And so often when we are trading, we are faced with two choices that we can make, two very separate choices. The first choice is what our trading plan tells us we should be doing. The second choice is what we feel like doing, what will make us feel most comfortable. Clearly, we need a level of confidence, we need a level of discipline and we really need to be decisive to just decide on what our trading plan says we should be doing as opposed to what we feel like we should be doing or what is gonna make us feel most comfortable. Also with trading, often you are gonna be wrong. The market is gonna prove you wrong in a big way and on a regular basis, yet we may have uh, people in the market and people just like yourself who have come from an endeavor, an environment, um, an industry, a background, a, a, you know, a whole career where being right is critical um, on a regular basis. You have to be right 99 times out of 100 and you are often right. Well, here we are in an environment where you may be wrong more often than you are right. And, and, and I think that's a real challenge for a lot of people who like to have certain levels of control and be proven right on a regular basis, if not all the time. Now we're trading and we're gonna be proved wrong more often than not. So I think that's a real challenge to a lot of people because we so desperately want to be wrong, uh, right, I should say. And you could argue that men are worse than this at women and perhaps we have greater egos and we really need to, to be right all the time. There's a great quote I've shown you, you know, talked about Market Wizards by Jack Schwager. There's a great quote out of that book from uh, Marty Schwartz. He says, I became a winning trader when I was able to say, to hell with my ego, making money is more important. So, you know, really make the decisions that you need to make as opposed to making you feel good about yourself and, uh, and you know, helping with that ego and, and doing what will make you feel most comfortable. The thing with being decisive also, and I think it's important to realize, is you, you, you just have to quickly accept that you're gonna make some right decisions and you're gonna make some wrong decisions at the same time. But it's so important that you just make a decision. Um, the whole idea of, oh, I don't wanna be wrong, I don't wanna make a bad decision, that will lead to indecisiveness and you'll never make a decision. And I often see it about my, my uh, former uh, military career where I was an officer and I had subordinate officers and other subordinates under me. I never wanted a subordinate who never made a bad decision. If I had a subordinate who never made a bad decision, I had a subordinate who simply never made a decision and I never wanted that. I always wanted people to make decisions realizing that we're only human and we are gonna make some good decisions along the way, but we're also uh, gonna make some poor decisions along the way. Of course, we wanna eliminate those poor decisions, uh, but we also wanna eliminate um, those decisions that perhaps don't go our way in the market. At the end of the day, you're gonna make some good decisions and bad decisions, accept that, realize that that's just the way it goes and, and remember anything can happen in the market. And I think the quicker you accept that reality, the more decisive you will become. Another thing I learned about in the army, and again, it's that uh, the choice between the, uh, what we wanna do and what we probably should be doing. And one thing I learned from the military is the fact that the easy option is rarely the best option. And let me give you an example in the market. That was just the quote, the easy option is really the best option. 
To give you an example in a market, you open a trade, it moves against you, you're faced with a loss, right? And the trade is still open. You're at your stop loss point. Everything is telling you, the market, your plan is saying, this is it, time to get out. The easy option is to not worry about it. The easy option is to do nothing and let's just see what happens. And we almost want to get rid of the responsibility that we have for the trade and hand it to someone else and let the market decide what will happen with this trade. The difficult option in that particular case is of course to follow what the market is telling us, follow what our plan is telling us and that is to get out of the trade. We know we should be doing that but the easy option is to, of course, just forget about it and hope it works out in the end. And that's something I very much learned in the military and it's so applicable to trading. The easy option is rarely the best option. So decisiveness, decision making, that's what really trading is. We need to be decisive. It's difficult to be decisive unless you're confident, confident in yourself, in your own ability, in the plan that you develop, and of course, discipline, and they're all very much related. But just focus on decisiveness. It's a critical attribute of successful traders. As always, we're here to help each other. I would like to hear your comments, your feedback, and your ideas on decisiveness, but more importantly, how we develop decisiveness. How can we help each other move from a level of not really sure what we should be doing and, and being indecisive and being paralyzed into making decisions, moving us to the level where we make decisions on a regular basis, routinely, with a great deal of confidence, and we just do it on a regular basis. So please post your comments about decisiveness and let's help each other out. Again, we wanna become better traders. I'll talk to you soon.